Welcome everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to get set up and started using ESP Link. If you don't have an account yet, you can sign up for the whitelist down here and I will invite you as soon as new slots open up. If you already have an account, you can click on the little login icon up here in the top right corner of the website. You can find a link to the website and the whitelist sign up in the description below. So click on login up here. In here, you type in your account information. Your username is your email address and the password is the password that you have previously set. And click on login. It will take you to your dashboard page. On the dashboard page, there isn't a lot to see yet. There's a link to the documentation and there's a support email address that you can reach me at if you need any help with anything that you see in this video or beyond. So on the left, you find your navigation menu. Click on links here to take you to your links dashboard. Um, when you open this the first time, it will be empty. So what we want to do, we want to create a new link. So click on add link. We give our link a name. You can freely choose whatever you want. So I'm going to call this, call this my first link. And it created the link here. Um, this link is not configured yet. So that's what we need to do next. Click on the little uh, pencil icon up here in the top right corner of the link card. This is where you configure your public key. If you already have a public private key pair for your ESP home node, you can use your own public key here. Otherwise, you can generate a public private key pair right here in your browser. Click the little uh, generate key pair icon in the top right corner of the public key window. This window will automatically generate a private public key pair for you. Note that this private key is generated in your browser and will never leave your browser. In fact, if you close this window without copying this private key, there's no way to get it back. Switch over to the YAML view. Let's go and copy that. And then we will adopt the public key. We'll click on save to save the configuration to our link. And now that it's updated, you can see that the public key shows up here configured for a link. What we need to do next is we need to save our private key to the ESP Home secrets file. To do that, we go to our ESP Home dashboard. I have mine open here. Um, and then go to the secrets button in the top right corner. This opens your secrets file. And I'm going to paste now the, the private key YAML that I previously copied. And uh, we're going to save this here. So now we've stored our private key in our secrets file. We we'll go back to the ESP Link website, and now we need to configure our ESP Home node. This here is the node that I will configure using ESP Link. So I'm going to click on Edit, and this brings up the configuration. It's not really important what's in here. The important thing is that all the configuration that we need, we can copy now from the ESP Link dashboard. This other button here that says ESP Home Config, we click that. That opens up a dialog that has a bunch of configuration for us pre-filled and pre-selected. We simply copy this configuration and we go back to the ESP Home dashboard. We make some space in the top and we paste it in here. So that's all we need to do. We're going to click on Save here and then we're going to click on Install. And we're going to flash our ESP Link node wirelessly and then we just wait. We can quickly wait. Yeah, we connected successfully. Let's stop that. The next step is to connect our Home Assistant to our ESP Home node through ESP Link. To do this, we open up our Home Assistant dashboard. If you had previously added your ESP Home node to Home Assistant, it's important that you remove it first. Next, we add the ESP Home node. Note that it's important that you do not add the node through the automatic device discovery. So if your, home, if your ESP Home node shows up in the top of this view here and says that it's ready to be installed, don't add it through that flow. Instead, click on Add Integration. Find your ESP Home integration. And this is the screen that you want. Here, you will copy and paste the host and port information from your ESP Link link dashboard. So let's go back to ESP Link homepage. We can close this dialog. We won't need it anymore. And here you want to copy the host and port information. Okay. And now when we click Submit, it should correctly connect to our ESP Home node and ask us for encryption key. The encryption key by default is the same key that you configured as your private key. So to get this encryption key, we go back to our ESP Home dashboard. We can close this view here, go back to a secrets view, and copy this key. Awesome.
Awesome. We have successfully connected to ESP Home node through ESP Link. And we can now see that all our control is active, we're getting data, and we're connected. To verify that your link is connected correctly through ESP Link, you can look at this little activity indicator. Every time data is being sent from your ESP Home node to the Home Assistant or the other way, this little activity indicator would blink and will show you that your node is correctly connected. With that, you can now take your ESP Home node and deploy it anywhere where it has a Wi-Fi connection and internet connection, and your Home Assistant will continue to correctly connect to the ESP Home node, even outside of your local network. If you need any additional help, there's a link here to the documentation. It takes you to a wiki page that, has, that outlines the exact same steps that we went through in some more detail. And on the dashboard page, you can also find my email address that you can reach me at if you need any help with any of these steps. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Bye.